welcome to Python Inspired. So what we're going to see now is what are the different operations on integers and floating numbers in Python. So first of all, let me tell you something like if there is your define a variable a equals to 5 and b equals to 6.7. So a is an integer and b is a floating number. If you want to check it, what you can do is type of a so it will return an integer and type of b you can easily see the type of b is a floating number float so usually sometimes what you have to do is you have to use a print statement here if you are using a uh, python shell so so class float this is print if you sometimes uh, if you are unable to see the type by just writing the type so what you have to do is use a print statement to get the results in the display in the output so what are the different operations that we can perform on them so first of all we can just let's suppose c is a variable and i say we just add a plus b if you want to add them so a plus b you can add them together so int can be added to a floating number okay so if you want to see print c so you will see 11.7 if you add 5 and 6.7 they are going to give you 11.7 you can also add two integers two floating numbers int and float together all three are possible okay so after addition you can also use subtraction so if i say d equals to uh, b minus a so you can see this and if i write print print d so you will see that this is the subtraction answer of the subtraction of b minus a <clears throat> so this is what usually this happens with python or any other programming language so this is you can consider it as 1.7 these extra zeros are due to this memories and binary calculations within the computer and we don't have to worry about that too much so that is basically equal to 1.7 okay and after that you can also multiply two numbers like if i say e equals to just a multiply by d so how to multiply you have to use this static symbol a into b so a static will do the multiplication for you and you can see print e is going to give 33.5 okay so you can see if you multiply a with b so you multiply these two numbers you will get the answer of 33.5 that was multiplication now you can also divide the division is also very simple f equals to a over b and a g equals to b over a so i am doing both of them side by side and I'm going to say print f comma g. So you have to print two things. You, you can use the comma to separate them out. So one is 0 0.76. This is the first answer. You see how much long is the answer. This is this has to do with built-in floating number, length of the floating number within the Python. So and you can see the answer of this is 1.34. Okay. And after Okay, and the next is we're going to see is let's say h equal to 100 mm, percentage uh, let's say 3 okay so this percentage is basically it's called modulus so what is what this modulus does is it will divide 100 by 3 and tell you the remainder so if I write print h so you can see that the remainder is 1 if you might divide 100 by 3 the remainder is 1 so this operator gives you the remainder okay and let's say p equals to a if you want to this power so 2 double asterisk uh, 2 so this is basically power let me let me change it to 3 3 asterisk double asterisk 2 let's print this p so what you will see is 9 
so 3 squared is 9 okay so this double steric is 4 power if you just change it to let's suppose 3 so you will see the answer changes to 27 okay so that's okay and there is a final operator that is uh, let's say j equals or you can do directly just write print and uh, what you can do is let's say 100 divided by 3 double double division so this will give you 33 and what print 100 over 3 will give you as is 33.333 so this is exact answer of 100 divided by 3 and this one here is uh, the quotient without any decimal number so if you use double uh, division sign so this will not give you any decimal number in the output so these were all the operations that you can perform on an integer hope you liked it thank you very much